discuss about Jenkins parameterized builds. Why we are using the parameterized builds? When we are going to use this? At, at scenarios, what are the scenarios we are going to use? For example, in the real time, right? Guys, you guys are knows, right? What is git tags? Why you are using the git tags? Because of, for if you want to release the particular version of code to deploy your uh, uh, servers, we are making the tags, right? For example, 0.1 tags means versioning. 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 based on your uh, tags. Now I want to deploy in the particular version. For what I did, the previous, whatever we done, the latest version, it's not working fine. Then I want to deploy the previous version. How we can do that? Based on the tag, we need to select the tag. I need to deploy the particular version of code only. I need to deploy, I need to build, I need to deploy the my code. That time what I need to do, we need a input from the user. While building the job, I need to give some input. Not only the tags, for example, you want to give the any versions, you want to dynamic versions, you want to this, that you can choose for while building. Or even you can to uh, choose your environment. For example, my job should be built with the different environments, like as uh, first is the development environment, like QA environment, okay, then after pre-production and production servers. Like that you want to choose the parameters, okay, and, and another scenario is I need to give the some password to run my job. Okay, that time we can give the passwords uh, input. Then as far as we can give the some file for input, that also we can give this. Okay, and also we can choose the some choice parameters. Like as uh, like as how many number of multiple choice we have, we need to choose the choice parameters so we can use that. And also there is a one more like as boolean parameters, like as true or false. If it's the based on the condition which you want to build your job. Okay, that is also we, these are the different types of inputs. Okay, and also in real time we are using for something like uh, like as one is the environment type of uh, builds and another one is the tag based builds. Okay, now today we are going to discuss about this git tags build. Okay, and also let me show you what is exactly what we are going to talking. Okay, now let me access my let me access my Jenkins now. And uh, Jenkins default port is eight zero eight zero. Let comes. Okay. Okay, it's done now. Now what I will do? I'm going to create a new project. Okay. This is my JMS. JMS parameter builds. Parameterized builds. Okay, I'm going to select the freestyle project. I get okay. Now, where we need to choose that this option. Okay, guys, you guys should be okay and and here you can want you can you can if you want you can write the description based on uh, based on tag build should be happen now i need to give some based i need to choose the tags what are the tags i have in my github i need that to, those tags it will come to under this section and i need to based on this choose my tag that user should be choose that which tag you need to build we need to use this now based on tag build unit should be happen now see this is the option this project is parameterized okay and add parameter i told you right boolean parameter choice parameter credentials parameter file parameter and remember if you're not seeing the git parameter what we should do we should yeah, install a one plugin this plug this option we won't get by default when you install the plugin only we'll get this what is the plugin name means git parameter what is the plugin name is git parameter git parameter plugin okay you install this plugin then only we get your option called as here git parameter okay for example i want to build my based on my branches i want to build based on my tags i want to build my tags with branches and these options why when we'll get it when you install this plugin only we'll get this option okay now i will choose this now this we can choose for any name okay this for example based on the tags i'm just giving this reference okay tags i choose a tags and this is 
I am giving some description based on tags should be build should build my job okay and this is we can choose the parameter type what is tag or branch or tag or revision or pull request these are the types we need to make our build okay now default tag if you are not giving choose yourself you can by default it will be go for this value it will come down by selecting this here if you are give the none none also will get it or else we can give the any default value also okay 1.0 i'm going to give here let's see now okay and let me take any project what are the project i have with tags i need to select that first mm, what is the project i'm going to select repositories some projects In this project, I'm going to take by as an example to show the demonstration. I'm taking this project. I have the how many tags I have. Let me how many releases happen this code. This code happened the eight releases. Okay, how these releases happen and all you must know the how to use Git tag, how to build the Git tags, how to uh, push the Git tags to GitHub. These things you must know this, or else you won't get these tags. Okay, this already we discussed the in the previous classes while discussing the Git. Okay, if you're not done, you can watch that my previous classes. Okay. And see what are the tags I have? These many tags I have. Okay. 2.0, 2.2, 2.1, 1.1.0, 1.0.1, 1.0.0. These are the tags I have. Based on the tags, I have the source code. Okay. Now go to my Jenkins. I choose this as a sorry. I choose my this is a source code management where my getting source code from my GitHub. Okay, now I choose my get credentials. Now done. Let's apply save it now. Now, after save this your project, you will get option called as build with the parameters. Earlier, how what's the option we got here? Build now button, right? Now what option we got it? Build with parameters. If you are project having the parameterized builds we got the option called as build with parameters if you're not uh, with the, without parameters we got the option called as build now okay now click this option now it will ask you it will if you are able successfully configured it will get the all the tags from your github what are the tags it was there if you have the 20 tags or the 20 tags will come here based on that we can choose your tag which tag you want to select we can select the tag for example latest tag i want to select and 2.2 i have and select the 2.2 and click the build now button now what will happen after selecting this optionally we'll get a build now okay now see the output now See the output now success right how much source code we had done in the 2.2 version those source code i pull it here yes i pull it and remaining this remaining the uh, whatever you want to do can want to build with maven package if it is Maven project we have to do with maven and then apply to tom get integrate with the nexus integrate with the sonar cube okay integrate with the pipeline code whatever you want to do we can do with this next this how to integrate parameters that's what i'm going to show you this example okay yes here right this is i want to give some input while building my job this is what example i'm going to show you clear clear guys for example let me do one more example same stuff um let me take new item one more example jms underscore environment parameter env and based on my uh, environment i want to set my deploy my project okay now let me select here for example what will happen in the pipeline script right we'll write the some conditions if conditions for example if my uh, environment like as the dev environment 
I need to deploy this code to my dev server. If it is my if another condition, if it is like as QA servers, QA servers input, it will go for the deployment to the QA servers. Okay, that may be URLs and also SSH uh, your servers may be different on the each um, conditions. Okay, based on the uh, input that code should be deployed to the different servers. How we can give this input? Like as I want to deploy this dev server or QA servers or production or pre-production, wherever it may be. For that, what we'll do? We need to like enter your environment. Just, just I'm giving some uh, environment. I need to choose this. And here, build with uh, project with parameters and add the parameter and string parameter I'm going to take. Here, I'm going to give like any name. This is name. And default value, I'm going to the dev by default. Okay, if it's anything will go first, it will go for the dev, uh, dev environment. Okay, now description, choose environment. Okay, now this is what I have done. Now let's, how we can do, they may be written in the shell script, they may be written in the Python script, they may be written into the, some uh, pipeline scripting and all right. How we can read this value inside script, how to read this value. For example, this Windows uh, like system, right? Now let's take the shell command. How to read this value means we need to use the dollar value, like same dollar. What is that value? ENV. What are the value? If I give the ENV means what will you get it? If it's what are the value choose that will be printed the inside your script. For example, if it is, for example, if if like dollar ENV, like conditions, like let me write you dollar. ENV okay equal to like as production or like as dev okay and this they may be written some conditions called as echo 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 like as some dev servers you want to give like this and else else and also this kind this kind of script they written they written in the script it will go for the based on your condition this is what I'm trying to show you just I want to go to print the env now let's see what are the environment you can give that will be give the output how to read this dollar symbol you can read the inside the scripts now build with parameters this is a dev which come in the default value if you want you can change the let me build with the dev okay default with the dev see the console output what is the value is printed? The dev environment is printed. If you want to change your environment while building, if everything is going to work, and select here, if you give this, this is the QA or staging. Okay. Staging environment. Go to build here. And it will go for deployment into the stage server. That, that value will read into the inside the script stage using this reading the value and based on that they will conditions they've written and it will go for the particular servers configuration clear guys clear now that's it for the uh, you how to use the build with parameters examples okay